Civilians Let me bring a Steve Dillon here. He's the attorney for the Michigan Coalition Responsible Gun Owners. You believe, Mr. Dillon, I believe that there should be more guns in schools. Is that right? Well, I believe that those of us who are licensed to carry are responsible people. Uh, shouldn't be prohibited from carrying in schools or other places. Uh, in fact, uh, the Michigan legislature just passed a bill last night and sent to the governor for signature, a bill that would allow those of us who are licensed to take one more day of training, including range time, and then actually be able to carry in the places where we couldn't carry before. Why on earth would you want more guns in schools after what's happened today? Here's why, Piers. Uh, if we could suddenly make all guns disappear, I'd have a different position. But I spend a lot of time thinking about this and, and reading about it. I teach a class at the law school level called Gun Control Seminar, and, and I get a new group of law students every term, and we discuss this in detail. And the simple facts are guns exist. They are essentially 1800s technology. Even semi-automatics came into being in the late 1800s. They're, they're easy to make. They're not going anywhere. They last several human lifetimes with minimal maintenance. So since guns exist, and we know for a fact that the only way to stop an evil person, like the person you were discussing earlier in the show, is to shoot him no, or he's going to shoot himself. Hang on. This is exactly the argument that I've been hearing ever since I've joined CNN. I joined about a, on air about a week after Gabby Giffords, a congresswoman, was shot in the head. Right. Ever since then, we've had the Sikh temple, the Aurora incident, we had the shopping mall last <coughs> week, guy downstairs shot in the head uh, from our New York bureau, and so on and so on and so on. And the argument I keep hearing is, well, if everybody else was armed, it know. wouldn't happen. It's a load of total hogwash, isn't it? No. If everyone had been armed at that movie theatre, twice well, as many people no. would have been killed in the, in the example, mayhem yes, that erupted. The give an example the proof of the where pudding. people have the stopped these the, attacks the and a the bystander has been hit. Yeah. You can't give me one the example where a bystander has been hit by a permit holder. The Empire State Building. The Empire State Building. Where a permit holder. Can I just... The proof of the pudding You don't see mass shootings at gun shows or shootings. They have reasonable gun control laws and... They, they have a hundred people a year, not 9,000 or 10,000 a year killed by guns. Guys, listen, Japan I just... And, uh, but it was adopted, lower before Japan gun control adopted there. adopted strong gun control. And has almost zero and, crime. And, 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 and the homicide rate But the point is, the gun Britain, control Britain, didn't Britain. change it. In but, Scotland, uh, in Dunblane, in 1996, there was a very similar school shooting. Right. right. Uh, just an uh, awful situation. 16 young children killed exactly uh, as they were today. Do you know what the two of the and they, As a result of this, they brought in a handgun ban. 162,000 handguns were handed in. Right? It is time for and an murder amnesty. rates listen, went listen, up. Listen, listen, There's listen. an amnesty in Australia Murder as well. rates went up. There are about 35 murders no, a year high. in it, Britain. But it was lower for another reason. There are reason. nearly 12,000 murders reason. a year from guns in this country. The point is, When are you guys going to focus on that? But it uh, stop telling me but the it answer is more guns. No, it, it is not the answer. Look, listen, listen, it listen. Let's focus on it. It was after the ban. It was higher than it was before the ban. So you want more guns, not less? I'm saying, three hundred million. Guns when in America you ban, isn't enough for when you. When you ban guns, how many more kids law, have to die before you guys you, say look, we want less guns, not more? I'm Pierce, upset about this. He asked me a question. I want to tell you something. Let him something. answer the question. I'm upset. <laughs> Because I worry that the gun control laws that you're pushing have killed people. Oh, that what when a you, lot of nonsense. Look, yeah. you have to explain. Nonsense. Listen, you an have average to, of 35 you, killings from guns in Britain a year. No. In but, a place that banned handguns. But Here, it was lower no before on these they guns, had the gun 12, control 12,000 people a year die from gun murders. Look, look there, there are lots of differences across the country. Can I, can I, totally you, you have to can understand. Can I please have the opportunity to say something without screaming? I mean, Yeah, there is. I'm sorry, but I want the... I woke up today. I've been debating this all week. Uh, I'll follow the Bob Costas thing, yeah. the shopping mall and so on, following Aurora. I've been debating it for months, if not two years. Yeah. I'm so frustrated, I'm so furious but that yeah, these yes. kids yes. have been blown away yes. again yes. with legally acquired yes. weapons. But you Some boy who's got problems takes his mother's three weapons, including this ridiculous assault rifle, and goes into school and kills his kids. And you guys on the gun lobby still want to tell yes. me I'm the answer a... is more guns. Yes. Look, I mean, it is academic. madness. Yes. No, but where? Yes, sir. How what else can you stop someone who's shooting people?